three Ahi Tuna Towers? What's going on everyone? Dave K here for another fun-filled day on the Disney Fantasy. I don't know if you can tell from right here already, but we're definitely rocking and rolling around the ship. It only seems like those winds and those speeds are picking up, making it that much harder to sleep and to really get comfortable in the room at times. But we are making it through, now getting ready for that Palo Brunch. We are so excited for some Palo Brunch, so making our way, getting ready for that one now. We will be on the road momentarily, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know, this is one of the most rocky adventures we've been on in terms of the ship rocking back and forth. But definitely excited to share it all with you, and hopefully it'll slow down over the course of the trip. And now we are back at Palo, this time closer to ground level. You can see we've got our gondola here on the ground level. Cool to see those ocean views as we're sitting in our seat. And of course, we've got the menu here. You can see on the menu, a variety of different soups. You've got pancakes, waffles, eggs, pizza, steak, all these meats. Have to take a look and see what sounds best. Making our way to the buffet now. Let's take a look at the Palo Buffet. Oh wow, very bright outside. Making our way into the second room here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Taking a look at some of the brunch selections here, you can see a variety of items. Our bread table here. Tough to choose what we're going to go for here today, but all kinds of great stuff all the way around. More of those meats and vegetables over here. Might start off over here. Get some of the tomato caprese we had yesterday. A bunch of other cheeses over here as well. Great sauces and different types of items on this table. And then, of course, our seafood table over here. You can see it looks like calamari in there. Crab legs. All kinds of great looking stuff. More crab back there. And you've got some shrimp on this side. All kinds of items. And we saw a little bit of those desserts as well. Check out our starter plates here. You can see both Mike and I have a variety of options. Mike's got that little, I think it was called a vegetable stack, kind of in that mini martini glass there. Some sauce on the side that I don't have. This bowl meat item here. And I've got a variety of options too. He got the crab claws. I got the crab legs. I got some shrimp. I got some arancini over there. Let's see how it all tastes. Looks fantastic. Definitely excited for brunch here today. Digging in here. Let's see how it all tastes. Mm. Take a look at the spicy Italian sausage pizza there. Really cool to see. We've got that kind of entree item split between us as well as a Parmesan chicken eat. So definitely excited to try this here today. Let's see how it goes. So overall, some fantastic food here for brunch. I'm definitely enjoying it even more than that dinner. And dinner was great too. But some of the best, I feel like some of that best brunch food so far on the cruise here. And we haven't even gotten to that chicken yet, so so excited for that one. One note is it is very difficult to eat right now on this cruise with all the bumpiness of the, uh, the ocean there. Winds at like 45 knots at this point, so really, really bumpy. But it's great food, again, just trying to keep looking out at the ocean, kind of feel that relaxation, kind of feel level with the ship as we're eating. But it, it does make it harder for me to kind of digest and to be able to enjoy that food as much with all of the kind of rockiness to the ocean right now. And here we are with the Parmesan Crusted Chicken Breast. Looks super, super good. Mike and I got the same thing on this one. I heard it was fantastic. Looking forward to giving it a shot. Now trying the Parmesan Crusted Chicken. I've heard it's so good. Let's see how it tastes. Really strong flavors to this Parmesan Crusted Chicken. A lot of strong Parmesan cheese flavor, so you have to be a fan of Parmesan. And a nice light sort of breading to it. It's not too, it's not like fried chicken, but it is a little lightly breaded. It is a great chicken. Definitely enjoy this one. It's not my number one favorite dish. I'm still for Ahi Tuna Tower. Kind of surprised by that. I was expecting to be blown out of the water by this one. But Mike also mentioned it's not as amazing as one he's had on The Wonder before. So very, very good. But not the most amazing, life-changing dish I've ever had. And, of course, trying some of the desserts. I went ahead and got the cannoli, got that kind of cup thing there, and then the pistachio slice, cake of pistachio type. <laughs> Let's see how they all taste. But overall, great meal here at Paulo, some great food options. Definitely enjoyed the brunch here today. If I had to pick between brunch and dinner, I would say brunch is the winner. 
Of the desserts, I want to say the clear winner, my favorite, was that fruit cup type one with the strawberries that I finished. Mike's got his orange one here. And I'm about to try this raspberry vanilla panna cotta as well. That one sounds fantastic. But a lot of these other desserts, I personally would skip the cannoli in the future and that pistachio slice. I think it's all about that strawberry fruit cup. That one was great. But let's see how this dessert goes. And our server brought us a chocolate lava cake as well. Looks super delicious, dense kind of chocolate lava cake in there. Definitely getting full here, so I'm not sure how much of that one I'll be able to eat. But excited to try these two. Panna cotta here as well. Let's see how they taste. Overall, a great meal at Palo. Really did enjoy that. Chocolate lava cake, definitely number one. And I personally, I would say, if you had to pick between brunch and dinner, brunch is my preference. Had some great options here. Definitely, I feel like even a little bit better in terms of food, as well as if you're thinking about what you're comparing it to, you know, those dinners are really good. And cabanas you can do pretty much every day for breakfast. So nice to be able to catch brunch here. Definitely looking forward to doing that one again in the future. I can't think of anything in particular that I would say, okay, make sure you get this item. I definitely want to try more in the future. But overall, fantastic food. Really did enjoy this one. And now we're going to be changing, getting ready for some pool time activities. Get ready for that jacuzzi, that kind of thing. Let's see what sounds like fun here today. Now back in the room after a delicious Palo brunch. It really was great, but we were there for quite a while. A good couple of hours there enjoying some delicious food and just kind of looking out at the water. Now making that change. See if we can switch on over to some pool clothes and enjoy some water activities. Let's do it. Now all changed to head on up to the pool. Let's hope it's not too crowded up there today. Yes, so, so excited to get some pool time, but it was super crowded the other day. So hopefully we'll be able to find some availability. Otherwise, maybe we will kick back and relax in some of those lounge chairs. But really got my fingers crossed today, especially. I'd love some relaxing time in those hot tubs. So let's see how crowded it is. Definitely would love to see more hot tubs on those future ships as well. But making our way upstairs today, let's see what it looks like. Fingers crossed. Looks like it's not too crowded in the pool, but super crowded in the hot tub. So I will take it for now, see if we can make some pool time happen here today. Nice to be in that water as we're going through some of these rougher waves. Now enjoying some pool time. It's a little bit chilly, but not too, too bad. Nice to be in the water during these more wavy, intensive parts of the journey. So we'll enjoy some pool time and hopefully that hot tub time will open up a little bit later. But nice to be able to kick back in here, relax and enjoy being in the water for a little bit of today. Glad we found a time when it's not too crazy busy in the pool. Maybe because people think it's a little bit too chilly. It is chilly, but not too bad. <laughs> camera down in the waves. Some heavy duty waves knocking the cameras down over there. Oh out of that water to eat. Oh, there's another seagull comes right up to us. And I know they're a bit off in the distance here too, but really nice to see just kind of the nature of the ocean here and how those seagulls are able to just sort of live on the water. Really, really beautiful to see. But those waves are still really tossing and turning here as well. It's funny to see, you know, water splashing up on the deck and that sort of thing uh, in different pools, but at the same time on the hot tub here, being able to just kind of sit back and relax and not feel too much of those waves. So a great place to kind of avoid the waves, in my opinion. And I jumped back in the pool for a bit, a little while, before coming back here. Again, just to kind of stay in the water, enjoy some of that zero gravity, not have to try to manage too many of these crazy waves here. But uh, nice to be able to sit back and relax and enjoy some warmth. It does seem like it's warming up now, too, so I got to cool off or warm up from being in the pool. Maybe I should jump back in the hot tub, kind of heat back up. But nice to be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy some quiet time and see what the rest of the day holds. Spend plenty of time chilling and relaxing here. Always nice to take time to kick back. It's been a good chunk of time, but there's so much to do and so little time. Now we're off to, I'm thinking change, maybe play some mini golf or some of those other dry sports and activities. That change is coming right up, but first got to grab some tea and some water we're on our way. Now back in the room to change, back into dry clothes. Lots of fun festivities for tonight, including one of my all-time favorites, that enchanted garden for dinner. You know I'm thinking about those ahi tuna towers. I'm pretty sure that's tonight, too. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for that one. Keep your fingers crossed to see what that looks like tonight. But for now, I'm going to make that change, change on over shower, that kind of thing. And we're going to be back outside. Are you ready for it? I'll see you there. 
all changed up and ready to roll. I'm thinking we just saw the wheel is happening in the tube, so I might check out the wheel in the tube. Maybe we'll do some activity like mini golf, but you know, it's super active right now. It's super windy out there too, so I'm thinking something nice and calm and slow would be nice, so maybe something seated. We'll see about that wheel. And then of course, gotta see that Aladdin show tonight and a delicious dinner coming on up. Let's make our way upstairs and enjoy all of those festivities here today. Looking for a solution to our dizziness problem here. We've got these teas. I've made myself some linger, lemon ginger tea. Mike's been using his Dramamine, which has been working, but now he's looking for caffeine. You can see the waves out there are still a little bit crazy. Definitely more slow than it was before, but uh, hopefully this tea will help out and we'll be able to make it through the night. We'll see how it goes. Got our teas here making our way around the ship, but it is taking us a bit of time. We'll see if we get a chance to catch the wheel here today, but definitely looking forward to that show tonight, Aladdin tonight. So much to do, so little time, but the adventure continues. All right, you got it. One, two S's. Okay, big applause for Abu Team, come on. Woo! Should be back with some encouragement. You got this. Spin the wheel. So come on, Abu Team. One, two, three. Spin the wheel. Four. M. Yeah. M like nothing. Spinning the wheel. Super fun game of the wheel here. Hearing about okay, Disney characters, way. theme parks, and more. Pretty fun. L. Okay. L like life. Okay. Hell. Is L on the board? No. Uh -oh. It's not Abu. Oh. oh. Look at all this is, sir. Look at these colors on the ceiling too. Love all the colors for the wheel here today. They're guessing the next letter. Ooh, got the letter D. There you go. Very cool to see the wheel game in the tube. Awesome time. A lot like the wheel of fortune, but Disney themed, of course. Now we'll see if we can check out that open house at Edge. Always a fun time. Check out those open houses, play some games. Let's do it. So Edge said deck 13 in the elevator, we're on deck 12. So you get off here on deck 12 and I imagine we're taking these stairs up here, making our way up there now. You can see lots of video games and movies being played here. Cool to see movies and games. Interesting dynamic, you've got giant screens up here and a view out here on our right. Check out this view to the rest of the ship behind us. Really, really cool to see the rest of the ship from perspective we can't normally see. I don't think I've ever been in this particular edge before on the fantasy, but awesome, awesome to see. Kind of look into that adult area here from edge. Beautiful, beautiful view out into the backside of the ship here. Love it. Even more screens throughout edge here as well. You can see very beautiful wall with some Mario Kart going on. Lots of Mario Kart or Mario games here today. I like it. Awesome to see as we're entering here, right by this entrance area, Aqueduct. You can see that flashing is indeed the Aqueduct. So you'll be able to see shadows of racers shooting by at certain times throughout the day. Really, really cool concept. And check this out. Seven people able to play on that Switch. Super, super cool to see. And you'll see in a second, hopefully we'll be able to see all the different characters in the lobby. So many characters on this new Super Smash Bros game. Really, really cool to see. You know, me with the interest in video games. It's really cool to see how many options there are. Check that out in that lobby there. So many people racing to pick so many different characters in the lobby. They're choosing their stage and choosing from a bunch of different characters. Mario and Mewtwo, everything from Pokemon to Mario to, you know, all kinds of good stuff in the new Mario here. And you've got Roger Rabbit on that other screen here as well. Cool to see all the fun going on here today. See a doctor character walking over there. Cool to see in that Oceaneers Club probably. Really cool to check out Edge. Glad we had a chance to see that. There were three different video games going on. I saw some football as well in that back corner. That view is fantastic. The movie going on. All kinds of really fun stuff up there on Edge. Maybe we'll catch the Oceaneers Club here as well. See what kind of fun activities they have at their open house. But really, really cool to check out Edge on the newer ship. I thought it was a great one. It was a smaller space, but lots of activities in that small space and a beautiful view as well. Still another 15 minutes until those youth activities are open. So let's see if we can check out some cool pictures in the lobby. Saw a Daisy Duck down there, American style. That'd be a pretty cool picture. And then we'll come back up, see if we can check out this open house as well. Thor's chilling out here. Cool to see you. Thor just hanging out. Thor, how are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm wondering how I can get to go to Valhalla. How that works. Well, young one, 
Gotta be a good person. Gotta be a good person. Okay. Strength. Okay. Knowledge. Passion. Three traits of being a true hero. Three traits of being worthy. Sounds you awesome. You have to be worthy up front. I'll work on it. Looks Thank like you. you have some worthiness. Hmm? A little bit. I don't know. Just there's a, a lot little of, bit. Oh yeah, a lot of the villain side Listen, too. I think he's lying to all of you. I think he's worthy. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks. I think he's also worthy of getting the photo. You want to do that? Yes, let's do that. Thank you. Awesome to catch Thor hanging out here. All kinds of great pictures with backgrounds, that kind of thing. Let's see what else we can find. So getting all those awesome photos, glad we had a chance to catch Thor, super cool, on the Star Wars cruise. But now Chip and Dale has become, or Daisy has become Chip and Dale. So we'll see if we end up doing that or just keep going for some of those background shots. Lots of great background ones too. You can never have enough photos on the cruise, especially if you got the package. May as well take all the photos. What's going on? Thanks for being here. Welcome to it, Chip. All right, how's it going? I like it. Have you all stockpiled any acorns for the cruise? You got some acorns? You got one. Just one acorn? All the acorns. Secret hiding spot for the acorn. I got you. How about you? Dale's like, oh, he doesn't have any. Oh. He's going to take from, oh, he said he's coming for your stash, Chip. <laughs> no, he's like, no, I don't want that. He's watching out for you. He's watching out. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. See you soon. I like it. Awesome photos with Chip and Hale. We got Thor, all kinds of backgrounds. Was awesome. Didn't get a chance to catch the Oceaneers Club, at least not today, but there's always future opportunities for that. Now gotta catch that Aladdin show. I wanna make sure we catch those stage shows, some of my favorites, so see if we can make our way over there, and then next time we'll catch that open house. So they've changed up the show tonight. It's gonna be the physical comedian tonight, and Aladdin's coming tomorrow instead. Flipped the two of those shows. So good to know those changes have been made. And looking forward to seeing all the shows coming up in the coming days. Really cool to see that physical oh, comedy yeah. show juggling all kinds of objects, the axe juggling, that kind of thing. Talking about pursuing your dreams, all really, really cool stuff to see. And here, glad we had a chance to check it out. Now we're grabbing some pins for pin trading, but you know I'm also excited for that dinner coming up. I'm pretty sure this is the Ahi Tuna Tower dinner. So we're gonna grab a jacket while we're back in the room as well, and we'll be on our way. Let's do it. Pretty quiet right now in terms of those pin trading crowds, but I'm sure people will be showing up here momentarily, keeping our eyes open, growing by the second. You can feel the vibe is slowly building here. It's getting a little bit more and more crowded here. Waiting with Walt for this to get started. Let's see how it goes. Pressure is mounting. The crowds are building out here and we're hearing that it's gonna be 7.30, not 7.15 for the pin trading, but definitely lots of more people standing out here waiting to get that trading action on. Definitely excited to see how it goes here tonight. Crazy pin trading event, got all kinds of cool ones. Looking forward to sharing those with you. And now making our way downstairs to dinner at the Enchanted Garden. Back in the Enchanted Garden, you can see the beautiful design of the room here. Really nice sort of green throughout the lobby. Lots of hanging plants here. Ceiling transforms, if I remember correctly, right there in the middle. Kind of green in that ceiling area. Really, really nice views all around. Definitely enjoy the sort of scenery, the decorations in this one. But I love the food here as well. Looking at this menu here today, we do have that ahi tuna and avocado tower. That sounds like an interesting option. Might go ahead and get five or seven of those and uh, just call it. But we'll see. Definitely excited for some food deliciousness tonight. My favorite dish. Let's see how it goes. And let's take a look at some of those pins that we traded for tonight. I got two of those Halloween at the High Seas, one for Michelle. I got that Stitch ice cream there for Michelle as well. A bunch of cool ones here, though. Look at a couple of, like, Mickey and Minnie. They look like they're from Aladdin. Very interesting kind of concept there. A lot of superhero Marvel ones. You've got this Chip. Looks like he's on the moon. He might be from Aladdin as well. Not really sure, but all kinds of great ones here. So Mike and I have the same order going in for three Ahi Tuna Towers each, plus the sea scallops. We're both getting our favorites here. We've tried a lot of this menu, but also we just love those ones so much. you got to get those here at Enchanted Garden. Definitely my favorite dining venue in terms of the food options. You'd love the vibe here too. But three Ahi Tuna Towers, will it be enough? That's the question. Should I have gone for more here tonight? We'll find out, but definitely excited to eat these. My all-time favorite dish on the cruise so far. Let's dig in. Check out our breads here. If I'm not mistaken, some of my favorite breads as well. It's got some sort of red fruit in there. Maybe a cranberry, 
or some kind of raisin, I'm not so sure, and those bread loaves, love that. And then there's that sauce to dip in as well, plus the butter. Excited to get our ahi tuna tower on here tonight. Got that spot open for it, let's go. Three ahi tuna towers, but wait, that's each. We each have three ahi tuna towers. Oh my gosh, looks super, super good. Love those guys, such classics. Three ahi tuna towers? gonna eat all of these a classic absolutely love those ahi tuna towers all-time favorite so excited to get through three ahi tuna towers tonight a little bit more of an onion taste than i remember but definitely love this one and now we've got the scallops nice and juicy full after all these delicious ahi tuna towers we had and now check out those scallops and mike's got that same dish as well another delicious one Scallops, oh, they look like such good stuff. So many around there with a the little rice in the middle. Let's give it a shot. I love those silky smooth scallops with that barbecue style sort of teriyaki sauce. And you know we love those ahi tuna towers. Those are still number one, but these are fantastic as well. Cannot lose at Enchanted Garden. Mike, how are you enjoying it so far? Two thumbs way up, right there. This is, the, I think we both agree, this is the dining venue. If you have to pick one for dinner, you can only go to one. You have all these other plans and reservations. This is the one. Come get the Aki Tuna Towers. So good. Those scallops were delicious as well. I like that couscous. I thought it went well with the scallops, and it was a lot of food. Mike was not as big of a fan of that couscous. It really depends on the style you like. Both of us really did love the scallops themselves and the way they were cooked. So overall, fantastic meal here at Enchanted Garden. Will we do dessert? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty full and I'm getting tired too. It's like maybe I don't need it, but we'll take a look at that menu and see how things go. And taking a look at the dessert menu here, you can see a lot of classics we've had. I'm not so sure about lemon raspberry bomb for me tonight for the no sugar added. I have been trying those, but I've had a lot of lemon lately with that lemon ginger tea. So we'll see how things end up playing out. But uh, definitely nice to see this dessert menu and see if we end up going one way or another. Check out our dessert options here. You've got that sundae, the peanut chocolate brownie sundae. You've got your pecan tart, a classic there as well. And we are indeed going to try this lemon bomb here. So let's see how all three of those taste. All looking fantastic as you would expect. That little Mickey anchor right there on the ice cream. Good calls. Let's give them all a shot. I was not anticipating eating that much dessert, but I went for it because these were all so light and smooth. Loved all these desserts. That lemon bomb, fantastic for no sugar added. It competed with that ice cream and that pecan tart for me. I thought that ice cream was awesome too. It had some peanut butter or something in there, and so I wasn't so sure. It was just like a peanut butter bread, which was really, really great as well. I feel like, honestly, pecan tart here tonight might have been my least favorite, and it was not bad at all. It's a great one. So it just lets you know how amazing these desserts were. Lemon bomb, super competitive for one of the best no sugar added. And again, I was like, oh, you know, I like chocolate no sugar added. This lemon no sugar added was amazing as well. I feel like I gotta keep trying those. It wasn't too tangy or too zesty. Really, really fantastic. Mike, what did you think of the desserts here tonight? I loved them. I loved them all. Impressed by all of them. Somehow, it's, it's weird, I agree with you. The tart usually is my favorite, the uh, pecan tart. The other two competed directly with it, directly. So, I'd recommend all three. The no sugar added lemon, chocolate shake with peanut butter, and that tart, yum. So there you go, dessert just like those other courses. Really, really amazing here at Enchanted Garden. One of our favorite dining venues in all of the sit-down restaurants that you typically get assigned to. For me, Enchanted Garden, boom, number one, easy. Love this one, so good. Bell. Princesses strolling around here. You've got some Belle photos. There's Daisy back there behind Belle. And Cinderella is over here as well. Great to see all the princesses hanging out here, taking some beautiful photos. Let's do it. Is it worth waiting in this line to see pictures with Cinderella? Yeah, I think it probably is. Oh, see you soon. Enjoy. Oh, hello, how are you? Great, Cinderella, how are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. You're having a lovely day today. Beautiful day, and oh, you? Oh, of course, it's wonderful here on the Disney Fair. Awesome. Too. I'm ready to join you for the Royal Ball. Oh, my. I think there's one coming soon. Okay, sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. And another quick look at some of these Star Wars merchandise as we're making our way up for the night. Nice to see all the different merchandise here, again, from those different types of shirts to the backpacks and hats. Look at these hats right here. 
great. His and hers hats right there. I like it. All kinds of other cool stuff. Look at that. Star Wars Day at Sea Disney Cruise Line. That's a beautiful sweatshirt right there. And this t-shirt is a great one as well. Now making our way back to the room for the night. What a fantastic evening. Glad we had the chance to enjoy some delicious food and enjoy some hot tub time today. What a fun filled day. Mike, what was your favorite part of it? Favorite part, I think, was the Palo Brunch. Ooh. Really nice, really relaxing. Really just enjoyed being back there. It was really nice. That's a great one. I feel like I feel like I gotta say that dinner because I love that Ahi Tuna Tower. Yeah. But brunch was awesome too. I always love that hot tub time as well. All fantastic. Thanks so much for being a part of the adventure with me today. What did you think of the adventure? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, have a magical day. And play on. We'll see you soon. Overall, that chocolate lava cake was definitely the best dessert at Palo. By far, chocolate lava cake, fantastic, and a great meal. Definitely enjoyed brunch. 